Remember all the controversy around Black Clover? Well, that controversy isn't really gone, but you notice that it's not really as much of an issue as it was when Black Clover was first being released as an anime. As of right now, we're over 70 episodes in the anime, and we know that this is supposed to be one of the replacements for the big three. Even though it's really only the big one and a half, because we still have One Piece, and Naruto just changed into Boruto, so it's not really gone, but you get my point. It felt like Black Clover was forced upon us. It feels like Black Clover didn't really try anything new. It has several of the same copy and pasted tropes in so many other shonen. A super energetic main character, an emotionally distant rival who, thankfully, isn't a total jerk in this series, so I'll give it props for that. A goal to become some vague wizard king, or hokage, or king of the pirates. A superpowered form that is released because it's really cool. Black Clover isn't even attempting to expand on this formula, it's just going through the motions. Has Asta even really had a character arc? Has he really evolved? I don't feel like there's been any major changes with who he is or what he's learned. He's gotten better at fighting, but other than that, there hasn't really been much growth. As of right now, in terms of the volumes released in English, we're on volume 13, which is the amount of volumes needed to at least complete one full story arc. And yet, we haven't seen too much from Black Clover. I actually quit reading the manga because there wasn't anything that was truly unique about Black Clover. So the real question is, why have we become content with Black Clover? Over the years since Black Clover was being released, the issues that surrounded Black Clover seem to have faded away. Maybe it's not really relevant anymore, and we don't care. Maybe we've slowly started to enjoy the show due to the exposure effect. Or maybe, even though the popularity of Black Clover was fabricated, we appreciate that Black Clover is there. With the constant buzz around the Big Three replacement, the prime of early 2000s anime has left a hole in the hearts of many anime and manga fans. What was once such a stable and glorious time in the days of otaku culture has now become a constant wave of series after series that hasn't quite scratched the itch. And if it has, it was only temporary. I think Black Clover has become accepted, because we stopped seeing it as a ripoff of the Big Three, and we started seeing it as an ode to the Big Three. Black Clover took what was good about those series and embraced it. Yes, it's slow and it has flaws that are hard to overlook, but we appreciate what it's trying to do. We want a series that we know will stick around with us for a while. And Black Clover is one of those series. Of course, there's others that are hard to argue as not being superior. My Hero Academia is the more popular choice among the anime community, and its popularity isn't fabricated like Black Clover, and it is a genuine replacement of the big three. But Black Clover is helping to fill the gap that is there. I started reading the manga again only when I heard Asta was a main character in Jump Force, and I realized that if I wanted to truly be part of the next generation of shonen anime and manga, I had to accept Black Clover. And Black Clover isn't bad when you look at it as a whole. It's a fun series, and maybe that's good enough. I'm happy to see Asta in the game. I'm happy to get a new Black Clover manga to read every few months. I'm happy to talk about it. Even if it's not what I want it to be, I appreciate that it's there. I like having a character I recognize. And this is going to be the new trend. The next generation of anime fans are growing up with these new series. As much as we praise Naruto, Bleach, and One Piece, there's too many episodes to really expect the new generation to catch up. It's easier for them to grow up with the new series that are currently airing. And the previous Big Three won't be forgotten, but we have to let them rest. Their time has nearly passed. They aren't dead, but they aren't what they used to be. They don't hold the same weight. And it's only now that I'm able to say that out loud. So, I welcome Black Clover. I welcome it begrudgingly, but it's welcome. In my eyes, Black Clover is the black sheep 
of shonen anime. But it's not misbehaving, so I'm not gonna complain about it. Now I'm going to prioritize My Hero Academia as much as possible, but underneath my stack of My Hero Academia, there will always be the one new volume of Black Clover that is ready for me to read when I get to it. And I hope it evolves into something unique. I like to think of Black Clover as a series with potential. If we give it time, and if we support it, eventually, we'll see it become what we really want it to be. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay beautiful, and keep playing.